Hey guys, even here for the second time today, yes I know, I hope I don't bore you to death jumping out of your toilets like this, but uh, I made a video, I made one video and then a lot of new stuff came up in a couple of hours. So I'm right here home after a leg day and I have to make another video. So first of all, I saw this. I saw Rolly Winkler with probably with an arm pump asking us a question, vascular enough? And hell yeah, he is vascular enough. I mean, there is there there are veins everywhere. I mean, there are the large ones and the smaller ones. You can see them all, and he looks so much fuller and bigger. And you guys know the reason why he was fifth at that Chicago Pro. It wasn't the problem with fullness or conditioning. He was spot on, basically. He was just smaller. Why he was smaller? Based on all we heard, it seems like he didn't have enough time to train in the off-season to grow or actually to maintain muscle, how much Rolly can grow at that point, not much, but just to maintain, that, that's, that's plenty, that's enough, that's a challenge enough for him, he was not able to do that, so he started a prep and the idea was to grow into the show, so he was getting leaner and bigger and yes, it worked to a certain extent, he did actually ended up being you know impressive for sure fifth place at the chicago bro that's still that's still a good 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 result but for him yeah not that good that was not the rolly winkler we knew so he was not big enough and now he had a couple of more weeks so he was supposed to compete at tampa apparently he pulled out of that show he didn't announce anything he didn't say anything he is just not on the list why maybe he realized if he had a couple of more weeks he can actually grow a little bit more into the next show, so maybe he will do that. Does he look bigger now? It's really hard to say based on this one photo, but maybe. Maybe he actually will manage to grow, because he is one of those genetic marvels, one of the most genetically blessed bodybuilders of all time. If Kevin Leveroni was able to get from like... Uh, 180 to 250 on stage, <laughs> whatever, shredded, then I'm sure Rolly can do something like that. So I'm sure Rolly will manage to, to, not to grow, but to get the old muscle back. Muscle memory is an amazing thing, it works like charm. So I'm sure Rolly will actually, if he has more time, uh, just maintain the conditioning and just regain the muscle that he lost from not training. So I'm sure next show Rolly does... He's gonna be much better. Is it gonna be the same Rolly from before, back when he was an absolute freak? No, probably not, but if he gets to like 90%, that's still gonna be pretty much good enough to win a pro show, to win Spain, or Texas, if he decides to do that one, or maybe even Arnold, there is still a lot of time until Arnold, maybe he should focus just on Arnold and try to win that show, if he can actually grow that much until Arnold. So I gotta tell you, I'm very interested in what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a very interesting uh, transformation. Hopefully it's gonna be a transformation. Uh, we'll see what Strolly is gonna be able to do. Is he gonna come bigger, more conditioned, less conditioned, fuller, flatter? It's gonna be very interesting to see him again on the stage. Uh, hopefully improved. And I think he will be improved and better. And he will place higher than fifth at any pro show he decides to do. That was pretty much embarrassing for, for a guy of his level. I don't think that's gonna happen again. I don't think so. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Nathan Diasha also posted a video of himself posing, three weeks, only three weeks into dieting and he's already pretty much ready to compete. So he is 121 kilograms and that is 266 pounds, almost 270, <laughs> that's enormous, that's really big and he says he's a little flat. If you continue reading, you will see that he says that he's not very dry, but he's very round. In a little bit different way, but you can get the idea of what he said. And this is something that James Collins said, uh, says a lot about uh, uh, different kind of uh, genetics. But, but Nathan can get also very dry. You guys saw him last year at the British, uh, British Grand Prix. He was shredded, but he was flat. And he says the reason is he was doing cardio. Last time we saw him at New York Pro, he was full-blown, full as a house. And that is a preferable look for Nathan. I think he looks much better when he is fuller. I don't think he should sacrifice the fullness for some conditioning. I think uh, if we see Nathan again, full like he was at the New York Pro, that's gonna be lights out for many bodybuilders. You guys forgot how good Nathan used to be uh, because he didn't compete for a while, he had a lot of issues in his life. The last time he competed, he was much smaller and flatter, but super, super dry, though. But I think if he goes with, with the fullness card, he's gonna place much better. I mean, he still won that British Grand Prix with that, with that kind of uh, package. 
But still, if he, if he wants to do the best that he can at the Mr. Olympia and win a pro show, and this year it's going to be very competitive to win any show, really, because there isn't too many shows left and a lot of bodybuilders want to get to the Mr. Olympia stage. So if Nathan does that, if he goes to the fullness, I believe, he's going to do much better. And I think he will win the pro show and qualify for the Mr. Olympia and be one of the top guys in the Mr. Olympia. I don't know what, what place. He was, I think, seventh. That's the, his best result. Can he beat that result this year? Well, if he made some progress and if he learned a little bit more about his body and he says he did, then yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a possibility. It's definitely possible. I can see that happening. What do you guys think about Nathan Diash and how well will he do this year? In the meantime, his fellow Brit that I just mentioned before, James Hollingshead, is getting ready for the Mr. Olympia. He doesn't need to qualify this year because he's already qualified by winning one of the shows later last year. And he looks harder and harder and drier and more impressive. Just look at all the dense muscle that he has. Guys, I don't know what to expect of James. The only issue with him is his back, his lower lats. That's kind of an empty area for him. But like from the front, from the sides, how many bodybuilders have this kind of density? So I think anything is possible from James this year at the Mr. Olympia, really. Like, I wouldn't be too surprised if we saw him, like, in top three. I know this is crazy to, to say, because he never competed at the Mr. Olympia. He won two pro shows that weren't exactly top, top-level pro shows. So it's really hard to say how well will he do, but looking at his photos and videos and how much better he's getting every day, and also knowing how hard he's working, how heavy he's training, how strong he is, and how devoted he is, and with his genetics, I don't know. I was always a huge fan of his. I followed him since the day one, basically. And he was, I think, my first video that I made about any bodybuilder. It was him on my channel. You can check it out. One of the first videos. So year after year, he looked so much better and better. And now he's doing the Mr. Olympia. And I can't wait to see him compare to the other guys. And I think anything is possible. This is going to be one exciting, exciting Mr. Olympia. An exciting package from uh, James Hollingshead. We'll see how well will he plays. Whatever you guys think, tell me. Nine weeks out of Mr. Olympia, the current Classic Physique champion, Chris Bumstead, posted an arm workout on his YouTube channel. And check, check out this part, this lat. It grew so much. Overall, his arms, yes, they are genetically uh, horribly shaped, but you cannot say that he has small arms. Not anymore. These arms are not small. I'm curious what is the measurement, but they don't look small anymore, nope, yeah, he's pumped quite a bit because he is doing some sort of a pump workout, this is just like 20, 30 reps, super sets, so I don't know, I didn't even watch the video, I just uh, filmed this part to show you what he looks like, I go I'm gonna watch this video a little bit later when I eat my meal, actually, after I'm done making this video, but uh, I was curious to see what he looks like, and this was the part where he revealed his physique, at least his arms, and you can get the idea that he is, uh, he's getting leaner, by the day, he's very lean, and not only lean, but he is getting bigger and more impressive looking by the day as well. So, we'll see, I mean, at the Mr. Olympia, he, I think he's gonna be bigger, more muscular, harder, more conditioned, just overall much, much better package. Tell me guys, do you think it's a coincidence that Brion Ainsley posted the same <laughs> video on his IG? He is also doing some rope curls, and his arms are looking better, for sure, he has better insertions, better shape, probably even bigger arms, but uh, yes, he's, he would probably be a better bodybuilder, he does have that crazy 3D shape, bubbly kind of physique, quite a bit, and I think he should go to 212, I don't think he can ever challenge Chris again, I don't think he's on that level, is he really a rival to Chris still, I think, uh, I mean, maybe Terence Ruffin is more of a rival because he was second last year, but maybe Brion is up for redemption, but he wants to be at least second again this year, or even to beat Chris. If Chris somehow messes it up, maybe he can lose from Brion, but the likelihood of that happening is rather tiny. And it's not about Brion, really, who's gonna win, it's about Chris. So if Chris's autoimmune disease flares up, then yes, Brion can take him. If everything goes well and smooth for Chris, Chris wins his show, hands down, nobody can challenge him. But Brion does look very impressive right here, I gotta give him that. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you want to see more, subscribe. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.